Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the new module. Uh, in this module, we look at uh, the risk management practice. Okay, so first uh, we'll look at uh, as a core function, uh, how risk management interacts with the different stakeholders. Uh, next, uh, we'll use uh, revolving credit as example to look at uh, typical risk management decisions throughout the uh, credit life cycle. Uh, at the end, we'll look at uh, consumer lending uh, ecosystem. Uh, what kind of uh, companies are out there? First, uh, risk management is a core function for consumer lending. Uh, as we have seen, uh, the management risk uh, is very important. Uh, it could uh, lead to a uh, live or die situation, right? For uh, lending business. Uh, so who does the risk professionals interact on a daily basis? Uh, here, let's look at the first line risk. Uh, they are involved into day-to-day -day business decision, right? So on the top, uh, we have a product and a marketing, okay? So product team designs the new lending products. Uh, risk team needs to be involved to see uh, whether there's inherent risk uh, with the uh, new product or new features. Uh, marketing, they market the products to uh, consumers. Uh, there are certain consumers, they are risky enough that uh, we do not want to target. So that's a, a constant uh, conversation between the risk professional and the marketing to decide the ideal population. Uh, then going clockwise, we have a second line risk. Uh, they provide oversight of uh, the day-to-day -day decision of a first line risk team. Uh, they provide a credible challenge. So uh, this is an important uh, uh, stakeholder uh, for a first line risk team. Then we have uh, underwriting. Uh, in retail lending or consumer lending, most decisions are automated. So that's how you achieve the skill. However, there's always a situation that uh, requires a manual uh, adjudication. Uh, there's special situation, then underwriting team uh, usually looks at uh, risk team to provide guidance. There's a certain um, uh, policy and procedures, uh, risk develops, then underwriting team uh, they need to follow. Uh, then we have a customer service who serve the customers the inquiries, sometimes complaints. Uh, so they act as the years customers. Then they can relate back to risk team. Uh, the risk team can uh, evaluate the risk strategies uh, to see how they can best reduce the uh, customer uh, frictions, but at the same time still perform the uh, risk jobs. Uh, collections. Uh, once accounts are being delinquent, they need to be collected. Okay, so risk team designs the strategies to determine which ones should be collected first. Uh, via what a tactic, whether it's a phone call or letter, that drives all the uh, actions, treatments uh, on the delinquent accounts. Uh, then collection team, uh, they are in the call centers, and they actually uh, talk to the customers trying to collect the money. Uh, so these two teams work very close together. 